Well, I'm uh, delighted this morning to be talking with Steve, Steve Hansford, who's one of our two church wardens, together with Rebecca. Steve, welcome, and uh, good to see you. Good Steve, you before we, um, we get into stewardship, just tell us, what exactly does a church warden do? Uh, well, a church warden is one of the, the leadership positions in the church, and we separate, I guess, the, most of the admin work of the church, the management work, uh, to make sure that, that all runs smoothly. Uh, and that also then basically allows our uh, our full time Christian workers, such as yourself, or Matt, on part time Mercedes, to focus on what they should do when they're not involved in the in the admin work or the governance work of the church. So uh, that's really what a, we have some legal responsibilities too. You know, um, traditionally that involves looking after a medieval building, uh, but in in our context, it thankfully doesn't. Uh, and so. Um, uh, and so we're able to also spend a lot of time then supporting you and Matt in, in your work. Yeah, great. Thank you. And and, and that support is, is is greatly valued, and it's always mm-hmm. a joy working in a, in a team like this. So that's that's yeah. uh, something I personally appreciate. Now we're we're having Stewardship Sunday today, and um, you're going to share something about our annual budget. Mm-hmm. Could you first of all just tell us how is the church financed? Where does the money come from? Um, well, we are, unlike most dioceses in the Church of England, actually, and the, the diocese in Europe is, is actually, all the chaplaincies are, are self-financed. And so it's the generosity of the members of the congregation uh, that, that basically finances the church. And so, um, and, but because it's self-financing, that means that there's a very direct link between the giving and the expenditure. And, and I think that what I've seen in many years now at St. James, I've been here a long time, is that the congregation has always given very generously, mm. and which is fantastic and which we've been continually grateful for. And I think maybe that direct link is maybe one of the reasons for that, that people really see that their giving makes a difference to the, to the mission of the church. You know, we're here to put our faith into action, and our giving does that, and it's very direct. So I think that's... That's probably the important thing to know. We are completely self-financed. No grants, no uh, income from. No, the, we are not the BFM school. We are. Uh, we're not the school church. Uh, where there's no. There's no uh, connection between school fees and St James's budget or anything like that. It's. It's 100% of our income yeah. comes from uh, our very generous uh, congregation. Yeah, yeah, and that's been a key feature: that the faith in action that we. Yes. Uses our motto, uh, and this is a key expression of that, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It is. So, Absolutely. just give us a, a, an overview, Steve, of where mm-hmm. money is spent. What do we spend it yeah. on? Uh, church budget actually is uh, is one hundred ninety two thousand euros, uh, which sounds like quite a lot of money. Uh, and sixty four percent of that, so two thirds of it, uh, is actually directly ministry expenses. Um, and so, it's about paying our full time or part time workers, so yourself, Matt. Mercedes and some outreach expenses which are related to that as well so publicity and those kinds of things so 64 percent is directly ministry related so when you think of putting your faith into action and, and what our mission is here in Force Coast and in the Leiden area um 64 percent of our budget is directly going towards that um 20 percent is external giving um, not 10%, as many people think, 20%. Um, and so we have a diocese which needs to be supported. It has to be probably the smallest organ, diocesan organ, organization out there. So um, there's no sort of admin fact that's being funded by it. It's very directly, you know, the safeguarding officers, the, the bishops themselves, and their small staff. And um, so they get a little bit of our money. But they also have their own fund as well. So if there's a chaplaincy that needs to be set up or supported in some way, there's a fund there that we're also partly giving to to make sure that that's possible. And um, so international mission is is there as well in terms of our giving to the diocese. Another 10% is to mission partners directly. So we control that directly. So that's people like the Gottschalks here locally in the Netherlands or it's, it's the Manlis in, in Ulaanbaatar. In, in Mongolia, uh, and so international mission is also part of what we do with that with that 20%. Mm. Um, for those of you who are good at maths, you've already figured out there's 16% left, um, and we do have a couple of buildings. We don't have a medieval church to run, but we do have a couple of houses, um, and so that's Chopin Line, where you yourself live ruined, that's um, Ambach's Pad for Matt and Lizelle, and also a home for our youth activities sometimes as well. 
Um, and those properties, you know, they need to be maintained, they need to be kept in good order, they need to be kept up to date. Um, and so that's where that money is going, as well as rental fees for the BSN when we happen to be able to go there with non-COVID times and other properties that we rent. So that's where 192,000 euros goes. Wow, yeah. That's really helpful as well, that big picture where it comes from and, and it's, the, it's the giving of the members yeah. and where it goes to and, and the headline words, mission and, and ministry there, which mm. is uh, something I think is, is very positive. Mm -hmm. Steve, just as we close, this is Stewardship Sunday. What, what message is Church Warden, and, and you speak for yourself and Rebecca, of course, but what message would you like to give to us this morning? I think giving is, is never an automated exercise. It's not like we just calculate a percentage and communicate it out there and say, this is what you, know, what you should give. It's very personal. Um, and it's also it's it's money and time. You know, we we you uh, you all hopefully by now receive the weekly email, and there's all kinds of activities going on on that weekly email, and those activities need people to make them run. And um, so there's always room for volunteers, and so you can give of your time as well as of your money. Uh, if you're interested to do that, email the office, email the warden's email. Um, we're always happy to hear from you. Um, but we also obviously have financial giving, and that's a very, I think, deeply personal uh, thing. And it also has to be appropriate to personal circumstances. I mean, um, you know, some people can give a lot, other people uh, cannot, and, and that's fine. Um, and so I think it's something that is, um, it, by itself, it is an act of worship, and it's a, and it's a, it's a sign of commitment to our, to our faith and what we believe in and to our mission. Yeah. And um, and therefore, I think it's something that in this season we should be praying about carefully, um, thinking about, meditating about to what is what is appropriate um, for yourself personally um, to be able to do. Um, and then once once you've come to that conclusion, what we really really uh, like people to do is to use our plan giving scheme. We call it the PGS. And what that is is, a, um, is, a, is a, a way of telling the church what your intention is for the year um, to give financially. You know, we do understand that things can change through the year, um, but it, it signals to us, you know, what it is that you intend to give us through the year and how you intend to do that. And that, that just allows us to plan. Um, we have 192,000 worth of commitments we have to meet. And knowing how we're going to do that is really important to us. Mm. And it just takes an awful lot of stress out of the job <laughs> if you know that, you know, how the money's coming, when the money's coming, and where it's coming from. And, and so we really, really would like people to do that. I believe there's going to be an email yeah. um, going out after the service to explain that in a bit more detail. And again, any questions, um, you, can, uh, you can use the warden's email account or the office account and it will find us. And we're more than happy to, you know, to answer those questions. But uh, um, really, just pray about it, think about it. You know, come to your own sense of peace around what is appropriate for you, and then and then use the PGS. That's what we'd really like people to do. Brilliant, brilliant. Reminds me of Paul's words in in two Corinthians about not giving under compulsion, but giving as. Uh, as yeah. you God is calling you to do, and that's, that's yeah. the message, isn't yeah. it? So that the, the the ministry of the church and sharing the good news can carry on. Absolutely right. Yeah, I mean, if we can, uh, we all we've always been able to balance our budget one way or another. Yeah, and it's always been there. That's been God's great provision to us. And in doing that, then we are able to share the good news to our our community here in Forscote and in the Leiden area. And that's what we're here to do. And, you know, we don't exist to balance a budget. <laughs> we, we exist to share the good news. Yeah. That's, that's what we're here for. Brilliant. Steve, thank you so much and for explaining oh, yeah. it so clearly. And uh, over to everybody else now as we uh, yeah. think about how to respond to this. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Bye-bye.